All right, OBS out here being ghetto. <laughs> Hold on. I told people to refresh. My bad. Oh, my God. Yo, shout out to OBS being like the worst tonight. I'm so sorry, friends. It absolutely did not want me to be great. <laughs> I was all doing a shout out to the homie Yates and the homie Glint. Uh, but welcome in, Raiders. I'm so sorry uh, OBS crashed there, but I appreciate y'all coming through. Uh, thank y'all so much. I don't know what happened. I guess King not only broke the match, but broke OBS. Yeah, we back, Karma. We back. We back. I appreciate everybody. Uh, but I was giving a shout out to, I'll do a new shout out because I know uh, OBS crashed out. Let me give a shout out to the buddy Yates, your friend Yates. Be sure to check out Yates, y'all. Like I said before, dope streamer. Always has some great content on that 2K23 grind like we're doing tonight. But I hope everybody's doing well. Don't be alarmed. We've been streaming for an hour. <laughs> it's some change. It's just uh, they did not want me to be great tonight. I apologize. But I know the homie Glenn is here too, so I got to give a shout out to the homie Glenn. Glenn be playing a lot of cool games. Um, I know he's been on a lot of Rocket League as well. I've been lo I've been loving the Rocket League streams. But let's see what else you've been streaming, dog. Um, and then I don't know if I asked, but Sims and Karma, do y'all stream too? I've always wanted to know. I wanted to ask y'all both. And Kenny, I, do you as well? Because I know y'all from like you know the homies, but I was like I don't know if I ever like dropped y'all follow or shared the love. I'm so sorry. But we back. I apologize about that. Sorry for any Raiders that had to go during the whole OBS meltdown. <laughs> they, they, you know, the Wi-Fi want me to be great. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Check out the homie Glenn. Oh, yeah, you are on Rocket League. Let's go. How's, how's, the, how's the games been, man? I appreciate y'all. But thanks, everybody, for coming in. Uh, but like I said before, my community is known as the Anime Squad. We talk about anime, video games, comic books, sports, you name it. In a positive, safe, and inclusive space. So if that's your vibe, if that's what you love to do, feel free to hang out, join us, have a good time. But Yates, I know you've been streaming for a while, friend. Working on that gear, getting getting the stuff done, getting your characters right. So please take care of yourself. Uh, if you got a rate and run, do your thing. Take a breather. Take that time to for yourself. Do what you need to do, friend. Uh, but I appreciate your time. And thank you so much for uh, bringing your community here. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get back into AEW. But if you got any questions for me about what the heck AEW is, the roster we've got going on, for those that missed it, we did have a new debut. We had a homie Frozone. Yes, that is the one, the only Frozone. The Where's My Super Suit Frozone. He is in AEW as well. So we got that ready. And then we're going to get right into the card. So let's continue going forward. And up next, uh, let me update the card here. Because... King beat Nightwing in like two seconds. Um, <laughs> but up next, speaking of some champions, it is time for the AAW Kingdom champion uh, to honestly fight tonight. It is going to be the one, the only Cyborg taking on Naruto. Naruto, non title matchup, but for Naruto, this is a big win because Naruto got to figure out what he's going to do. Him and Sasuke are looking at potentially going for the tag team titles in the future. But to do that, they're going to have to take down some strong opponents. So with that being said, hey, no worries, no worries. Any, anytime, anytime. I appreciate y'all coming in for the raid. Sorry, OBS crashed on us. But I appreciate everybody coming back, chilling, lurking, vibing with us. Anytime, man. I've been loving the uh, I've been loving the streams, man. I mean, I've been lurking and stuff like that, too. So it's always a good time. But how's your day going? How's everybody doing? And then uh, I know people had the raid to run. Do your thing. Please take care of yourself if you need that breather. Need that you time. You got to get some snacks. It's going pretty good. Sleepy as heck. That's a mood. That is a damn mood. I feel you. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled Look at this. Our Hokage is here. Naruto Uzumaki, Sage of Six Path. Naruto is here. Ready to dominate. Who do, a win here. Even though Cyborg is booked and busy. He's going to be taking, he's gonna be taking on Captain America Sam Wilson next Saturday for the AW Kingdom Championship. Promise. Naruto might want to make some noise with a win here. If he can beat Cyborg. And, need that and don't forget, Cyborg and Naruto, they got a bit of a rivalry. You had Sasuke and Naruto taking on the Team Titans representing by Beast Boy and Cyborg. And Naruto and Sasuke did win the number one contendership for the tag team titles. Lost it to the X-Men in quick fashion. But they do got some beef. Yeah, I feel like Glint. I, I, I feel that 100%. Sometimes, like, you got to take that breather to just get some rest. But it could be hard, though. <laughs> it could definitely be hard. And his opponent from Look at that. AW Kingdom Champion. Look how beautiful that title is. The 
The perfect shade of blue with Cyborg. The Cyborg, Victor Stone. This superstar always says there's nothing more important in the world than loyalty. Well, someone should tell him that this is WWE. Loyalty is the uh, least valuable AW. currency around here. <laughs> it's kind of wild. You can't change up the commentary. But, uh, where's the other company, right? <laughs> oh, my God. That's too funny. And there we go. Cyborg in the ring. AW fans showering him with love. Doesn't matter the situation. The champion so always has a match winning up game plan. Mr. Naruto Uzumaki. To go forth. All right, y'all. Get your predictions in. Do you think Naruto takes it? Is he glowing literally outside the ring? Or will Cyborg continue his dominance since winning that championship, man? He's been undefeated. He's become a kingdom champion the last month. And a huge right, the bell has been wrong. Look at the Sabo going up. And Naruto with a quick grab. And it's going to sweep the leg. Is a good way to raise your stock a in a hurry, but the leg. Oh, it tells Sabo what yeah, he thinks of him. So fighting words with him with a bit of a flapjack there. And Naruto being like, yo, here's what, I think, here's what they think about you. Sheesh. Even though their title is safe, no matter the outcome, oh, look at the Sabo going up and up. Oh, going big to kick to the face. And give nothing less and knock than Sabo down to the mat. Oh! And we just saw a terrible That's an interesting way to go to the mid area. Okay. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Oh, uh, right Dropping to the arm and again. That takes out the booyah man. for Sabo. And Naruto hits it with a flip. And look at this. The Hokage finding his stride here. Taking it to oh, one of the young titans of AEW. He's some dominance here. Things are really going his way now. Up into the corner and knee. big oh, knee. What a knee there. He's absorbed Kicks some the damage again. already. He's pick up. Oh, kick to the gut and set up for this holds offense. him up. Oh! First Hits it with the slam jam. Cover. One. Two, oh, kick oh, out by Cyborg, no dice. Last no roll. <laughs> Look at this. Naruto going up. Oh, okay, I didn't get it. But there it is, Hokage oh, kick. And again, pin. One, two, and three. What the? And this one is over. The hell? That's it? Here is your winner. Okay. The um, like a pretty easy day at the office right there. As always, Cole, you're more um, than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. What? This was as one-sided as it gets. What happened? The cyborg completely, he didn't show up for work? Naruto completely just, all right. All right, well, Naruto got the duck. I don't understand how he didn't kick out there. I don't know if Cyborg's had a bad night. But, uh, hey, listen, credit to what credit's due. Um, Naruto gets the W, so let me update the match card. All right, so congratulations to Naruto, gets the W. Could that mean he has a future championship opportunity? I think so. I definitely think so. Took out Cyborg with ease for the AEW, uh, for the AEW Kingdom Championship. We might be looking at our next champ pretty soon, but we're going to get it going. Up next, we have a big matchup. As we did see Cammy take on um, the matchup with Poison Ivy. So now this time on the flip side. It is going to be time for Miss Harley Quinn. And she's going to be taking on the other captain for the AAW Women's War Games matchup for AAW Civil War. Okay, now we're back. Yeah, welcome back. Sorry about that, Karma. Yeah, we back. Hi, friend. How you doing? I apologize. Yeah, I don't know what OBS is. OBS is a mess today. Uh, it crashed on us. Uh, it shouldn't have crashed on us. I don't know why the hell it crashed on us. <laughs> but it, it did not want to be great. It really did not. But how you doing, Carmen? What's going on? I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. We're having a good day. Let's We're see vibing. What she can do. We got wrestling on tonight. Hanging out there. I got dinner already in the fridge. The Made it earlier. We, we, we vibing. How are you? Making her way to the ring from wherever 
Yeah. And Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy personally won these matches against Cammy and Black Cat because um, they did not get picked by either oh, yes. team to represent Civil War games. They're WWE. kind of upset about it. They're like, hey, listen, we should have been picked. But this superstar is just you ain't went home from work? Let's go. I, well, I hope work right is great for you today, Karma. Uh, definitely get home safe. Definitely take care of yourself. I know how it feels to get off work. You just want to like, sleep. You want to relax. You want to hang out. Take some karma time. Do what's good for you. I appreciate you being here. Tapping in and stuff. But definitely take care of yourself. Yeah, no, yeah, no problem. Anytime. She knows I'm glad you're doing it right. It's going to be a big challenge. But if anyone is up for it, it's this woman. And a mixed reaction to Harley Quinn here is uh, Harley Quinn of Poison Ivy, the, uh, the deadly lovers here. We've gotten some mixed reactions in the AW. I wonder what that's about, but we shall see as uh, up next, Black Hat is going to be ready. And if you're Black Hat, you kind of pressure the win here. I mean, Cammy took the L, so you got to show you want to show dominance. Brigzilla, Harvey. The moment this get match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. Is that the Black Hat to get the dub? We'll see if she does that. As we got a couple of matches to go tonight, including a six-man tornado tag opportunity happening. We're going to have Spider-Man Miles Morales in action. We're going to have Pumpkin King in action. And, of course, we're going to have our triple threat tonight. The winner will take on... The AAW World Champion Spider-Man Miles Morales at next Saturday's premium event. Around, ready you do to not want to miss that. Skills. All right, that's Holly Quinn. That's Black Cat. And coming right, in, in tonight, we know this superstar is focused on creating a stir in the women's division. <laughs> but, uh, Apparently, Black Cat can air Ben because uh, she was uh, a different was area there, too. Yeah. All right, but look at this Harley Quinn going up and over, even with the air bender from Black Cat. Harley Quinn is unfazed and unbothered as she gets a big swing here, calls that the twisted twirl. And going up and over, all right to the leg, and boom, big drop down. That's going to sting. That is definitely going to sting. Oh, big punch. He points there to the outside and a nice takedown. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Down to one. Nice hurricane on face of danger. And now she has the sturdy upper hand. She's Two. efficient and dangerous with her offense thus far. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. And back up. Holly jumps back in. And look at this now. Black hat. Pressure on as Holly Quinn showing why she should have been a part of that team. Oh! oh that gonna go everything. for the stand-in. Standing moves up, but uh, Black Hat says no uh, dice in a nice arc around there. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. There. Oh, snap. Was trying to find a way to That's got to hurt. Wiped out. That has definitely got to hurt. Up and Jeez. Thankfully, Black Cat's so okay. But that could have been a big up. injury oh, there. Oh. And right to the spawn area again. Both women taking some big bumps in this matchup. I don't know who's feeling this more. The Black Cat hits with a bit of a taunt, hits it with the claws. Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE universe. That should keep her head in the game. Oh, I'm about to say almost into the ring. Oh, oh right to the side. Jeez. Count of seven. Hurry back in. Black Cat gotta hurry up. Eight. Now she walks in, realizes how severe it is. And she was dangerous. Kind of gingerly walking in there. <laughs> oh, hits it with the ball. Ben. One kick w out, no dice. Truly impressive kick out. This no eight. dice at all. Picks her up. Right. Look at this black hat going. Again, using a pause oh, there. And teases again. I think it goes beyond. Go cast me out. Oh, I think. Harley Quinn was trying Ripping to go, trying to go for the leapfrog, but could not get it. And Black Hat again, right to the face. the face. She's just appearing powerless to each attack. She's got a real leg and big punches and huge damage. Now. Takes Harley Quinn out. She cannot attacks. get the Harley's disaster uh, at the all legs. if the leg power is taken out. Oh, look oh at and again, big damage to the legs. What the leg? 
Just a good one to the mat. For the leg. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about. Uh oh, uh -oh, uh -oh there it is. Cash me out, locked in deep. Oh, what's Holly gonna do? She's trying her best to fight out of it. Almost a miraculous escape. Thankfully, gets out of there. That was close. Cast me out was locked in super deep though. Up and over it all again. Oh, dose. Uh oh, Holly Quinn got to find a way to fly out of it. This is gonna be big if she can get it. Drops down, no dice. Up and over and twist the turn. Nice drop down to the mat. And look at this, drags over again. Good pick up, lock up here. Oh, no dice. Uh -oh, what? Twisted turns and a big kick. Ben Harris could do it. One, two, and kick out, no dice. Somebody pinched me, I gotta be dreaming. There's no way she's still in this match. No dice at all, we to get back up the ring now. Oh, and again, oh, I thought I was going for a cast me out, but doesn't get it, kind of reverses it. Uh-oh. Oh, and again to the legs. Black Cat making sure every part of Harley Quinn's in pain. Be here. The arms, the legs, the rib cage there, too. And this one might be headed Both women side. meeting in the minds there. Oh, right to the outside. That's definitely got to hurt. And over again, and look at this oh, nice combination from Harley Quinn. Oh, right to the mat and right to the gut. Yeah, Very big damage here. Good lockup. Big punches. Huge combination. Oh, what a punch to the face. Oh my gosh. Kick a tick to the gut. Huge kick. And again, Harley Quinn going up and, and over. She's good with a twist and turn. A count of seven. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Eight. Get to the ring. Oh, no. He's does not want it to end on the count side. out. Honorable move by Harley open. Quinn. What a big Ouch. opening to leave Black Cat. Both women in some pain. It's a big pain count of two. She's saying, let's go, again with bring it. Returning to the ring now. Oh, big close on. As the arm into a hammer lock since then. Oh. oh, no, this isn't going to end well. To the leg and hold the moment. Oh, my goodness. And there it is, sets him up. Backbreaker! Calls it the heist. That might do it. One, two, kick out of the heist. No dice. She stays alive. Harley Quinn says no, she's still in it. Favoring that leg, though. You gotta give a lot of credit here. Withstanding what has taken out many other competitors. Heist all on Dose, another one. Ben. One, two, three, and there it is. Black Cat gets the dub. And Team Black Cat looking strong heading into Civil War games. Here's your winner, a week from now. Well, you can't really argue with a win like that, guys. This yeah, really big W. Like it was about more than just winning. This big was about W, hundred percent. Look at Black Cat ready to go. The division on notice. And that statement was they're here to win. Saturday. And that is big. That's a big, big win. Congratulations. And, you know, hats off to Holly Quinn. She did really well. It took two heists to take her out. So that was awesome. Well, we're going to get back into the vibes here. We're going to go to the AW screen. As we're going to set up our next matchup for the night, Anime Squad. It is going to be time for a really good one as we got Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans, taking on one of the defenders of the Earth, the Green Lantern, John Stewart. So it's going to be Green Lantern John Stewart taking on the Prince of All Saints Vegeta up next. And this is big. Vegeta had a title opportunity, lost it, unfortunately, was not able to take down the all-ambitious wrestling world champion. And Spider-Man Miles Morales did beat him for that opportunity. 
However, though, Vegeta wants to take on all challengers, and Green Lantern is like, I'm free for a match tonight. So you got it. The Prince of Saiyans versus the Galaxy's Defender. Up next, let's get it. Whew, I'll be getting Joe's intros quick. <laughs> Man, sometimes it's hard to remember little nicknames, too. I gotta give. <laughs> gotta give it. It'll be a little tough at times. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making one his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 228 pounds. V. V. G. And there he is. The prince is here. In their work. But who could blame Don't forget, Vegeta said he is not giving up on trying to get a title in AEW. Wow. That's been his goal. He says before 2023 worry, ends, he wants I'm some sure championship gold around his waist. Ten times so the question Bentonite. will be, what champion will he try to dethrone as the true prince of AEW? We'll find out soon because there's going to be a lot of opportunities, including we got our AEW major event for November, happening in Civil War. We're going to talk about our December one for the final countdown. And then we got day one, New Year's Day on this channel. So don't miss out on those. And his opponent from Harlem, New York, weighing in at 261 pounds, John Stewart. And there he is, the Green Lantern showing up to AEW. A lot of drama involved with Since this Since his Wednesday night is free, and he's booked for a matchup now, so he's ready to go. Laser focus and locked in. Look at this, the stare down. Hey, Papa Roller, what up? The stare down here from Green Lantern to the AW crowd. I'm good. How are you? How's your day going? He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. Hopefully you're having a good one. You're able to chill, relax, and all of this stuff. All right. Vegeta, Green Lantern up next. This yeah, I'm sure in there. Oh, I'm and and about to say a big and back and fist from Green Lantern, but Vegeta hits him with a yo-yo to kind of start off the matchup. The roster today. Oh, and what a big we'll punch there. Buzz around him is warranted tonight. He's taking on a guy to the body and nice swing in that breaker. He's been saying all week how he's going to prove a point in this match tonight. Again, right to the mat. Oh, using oh, the knee no dice. Race lock and look at this. Big Race damage in control. And just a high proficiency of attack. You play Pokemon here? No. Um, I don't have any Pokemon on my roster, but um, if I did, yeah, you can download them. If you buy the game, you can download. Yeah, there's a couple of Pokemon tags, with, like different characters. But yeah, I don't have any on the roster. Oh, right to the side. Got a three. Oh, look at this green lantern taking it to Vegeta. He the attack. Right across the face. Back, in back the into ring. it. Oh, the green lantern was trying to go for Vegeta. Oh, man. You can no see dice, and then he gets back in the ring, kind of walking a little slow. Vegeta goes up and over. Oh, try to go for the elbow. So no dice. Oh, my God. Shoulder check there. I know this is 2K with the type of game brings me back to 07. Oh, yeah, no, I'm a big fan of Raw vs. SmackDown 2007. Uh, that's my favorite game, like wrestling wise. 07 was the best. It had, like, a really good roster. It was just Mr. Jeff Hardy. We got him back in 08. But, um, I love the 07 roster so much. This is really well done. Look at these kicks. Oh! It's him with the Prince. Larry at one, two, kick out of the Prince Larry. Green Lantern staying in. Look at him. Look at Vegeta showing the AW ground that he's not done. And Green Lantern saying he's also not done. Big shoulder tackle there. 
getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Ooh, oh, right to the right. the trachea. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Thing, he's looking right. a little off balance. Oh, sorry. Oh, he's coming. kicked. Smash. Oh! Hits him with the up and at him. That could do it. One, two, three. Yeah, damn, that was it. I think Vegeta gave Green Lantern his first L in AW. Wow. Here is your winner, V V G. What a match! Gotta be happy about this victory tonight. This match is why his name is mentioned when superstars get My asked goodness. about dream matches. Just an unbelievable performance Hell of a match. Hell tonight, of a fight. Corey. All right, let's do it. Congratulations, Vegeta goes to the W column. Congratulations to the Prince of Sands. We're going to continue the vibes going. Up next, it is going to be a fan favorite matchup. And speaking of DBZ, we're going to keep the DBZ vibes going. As uh, This was not playing when I was making a match card, but I just realized it is going to be Goku taking on the Pumpkin King. So let's get into it. Let's go get everything going. Pumpkin King taking on Goku. Should be a dope matchup. As Goku is looking, uh, he got some beef to settle. Um, Goku is not happy. with uh, Well, he is happy, but Gojo is not happy. He lost to Goku last week. Um and gojo says he wants to fight goku at aw civil war but he wants to do it in a last man standing match and he went to my office was like listen can you make it happen i said gojo for you brother anything so it will be gojo versus goku at aw civil war next saturday last man standing match but tonight it is going to be son goku taking on pumpkin king non-title matchup let's get into it To this and look at Goku ready to go taking on challenges he personally wants this match up with Gojo says this is going to be a test of his strength to take down the king of AEW we'll see if he can do it all the sweaty knees we all the heck <laughs> y'all always play that song people waiting it's so funny. To the ring from out of this world weighing in at 210 pounds a spirit spa man the feeling, the electricity in the arena right Goku now is unlike anything. In the ring, ready to dominate. Can he get a W this match against the king of AAW? Or will he be able to just kind of shake it off? I don't know. Against his opposition. Let's see what will be done. But there's a lot of questions surrounding Team Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta got the win. Can Goku join his DBZ teammate? Or will the Punky King keep his crown on one more week? Punky King hey, is the here, horse? the king of AW, the about? anime yeah, champion, the won that title against Blade, Blade will have his rematch Did Jerry Lawler write that at for Civil you? War, but for now, the Punky King has his crown, shout out to Punky King, represent AW with pride, you know him, you love him, I saved him for the AW fans to see him on prime time, and I can tell you right now, everywhere I go, Pumpkin Army, you know Halloween's over. Pumpkin Army is still Keeps getting stronger every of the single time. That's why he's the week, man. Pumpkin King salutes as he is serenaded by his loyal followers and members of his Pumpkin Army and Pumpkin family. It's going to be a tough match. Taking on a very, very accomplished Goku, a former AAW undisputed an anime, excuse me, Rogue uh, Rona champion in AAW. 
I thought this man would be right, goes the wrong and look tonight, at this Goku. Like he's pretty calm Big cool. punch though. A Punky King hip thrust. He's a lot more nervous than he's letting on, Michael. Yeah, Goku to there grab him. Punky King stage, takes him down to the mat. Look at the King saluting, exactly but again, you cannot take your eyes off the same God himself. He's handling the pressure well. And across the ring, a man looking to cement his legacy as a title down, holder in our sport. Look at this into you gotta hope he isn't back. taking it easy, even though the title's Ouch. not on the line. You just know the vultures are circling. It's important it he projects picking up Goku. if he wants to keep Drop his brain to strong. The mat, again to the body and, and legs of the chosen. Uh oh, this is just vicious. No, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Right, going up and over. Oh, the stomps. <laughs> And not the A-Town stops, oh, they're the stomp stomp. right to the back. He's taking Somebody some good hits. Little kick. And now he's just being pushed around. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. Locked him up again into the corner. Suicide. Oh, it was oh, going to go for a punch, but Punky King says no dice. And look yeah. at this. Oh! Let's see with the bag of tricks. And, the and there it is. This moment is coursing with the veins. flex. And again, you cannot take it out of your opponent. If you're going to flex, you got to back it up. That is one of the golden rules of AW. Tall tough, you better be tough. Well, Goku not dealing with the disrespect any longer. The taking it to the king and says, now I'm taking that crown. This is my title. Gracious. My AW. Big punches there. Oof. Oh, and soft to the gut. Oh, off oh, again. And look at this Punky King got finally way to get out of it. Goku not playing. Continue Ooh, kicks well the body. Measured. And now Continue he's punches. Taking and control. Goku's getting hyped. Training, he's three times. strategizing, and execution. Oh, Punky King with a shoulder it's check. Greg, be careful. Right get out the way, now. Greg. Fun Greg the ref. What a punch. Man, they're stressing. Looking worse for wear. Corner. Oh, what a layer to the corner. It picks him up. And, oh, it might be time. Trick! There's one. Shut him up. Or. Dos. It is. And trick or treat. And look at that. That might do it for Goku Pin. One. Two. Kick out. Goku says no dice. I truly thought it was all over there. Talk no about dice there. Nice yeah, trick or treat. To, the to the, the, the top. Now Goku's in some pain. Difference. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent. Yeah, to it kind no of. Avail. Punky King, you got to be a little stuck here. Trick or treat was going in. Rock with Big the elbow. elbow. Lives to fight another day. Big elbow there. Him up, drops him down. Oh, I thought he was gonna go off to the top. Nice to done. And oh, big slam. And again, right to the arm. That's definitely gonna hurt for the pin. This could do it. One, two, kick out those dice. Goku showing that strength, man. The Punky King going up. And that's one out of nowhere. Ten, one, two, three. And Punky King gets the W against Goku. Here is your winner, the King. Wrestle, perhaps the perfect. The King has been crowned. And Punky King going back to his OG name. By the victor here tonight. OG Monica, a warrior no more. He has felt like he's earned the Punky King title, and has completely. Circled around to earning what it means to be a pumpkin king. GG's. All right, it looks on with pride. We're going to continue the vibes going. Let's get it going here. Up next up, we got a special match. This is going to be Beast Boy taking on Spider Man Miles Morales. If Beast Boy is able to win, he will be added to the main event for the number one contender opportunity. But if Spider Man Morales, Miles Morales wins, Beast Boy will not be able to get that opportunity, unfortunately, for Beast Boy. That will be his opportunity. He will have to find a different avenue to AAW greatness. But it is time for a great event. It's going to be Beast Boy taking on the AAW World Champ non-title match. Spider-Man, Miles Morales, let's do it. Do it up. Honestly, that should be a fire matchup. I can't wait. <laughs> a lot of excitement in that one.
get it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. fall. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 150 pounds. The Beast Boy. All these superstars come into this match and look at this beast boy knows the title their dominance opportunity with lifetime on the sides a chance to be added to a triple threat a competitor major with his share of detractors but he wants to prove to them get all a title all you gotta do is beat the champion you're in but if you don't uh you made it home gonna settle in try to pop back in if you still want after dinner check in my family and i just carmen please take care of yourself i appreciate you thank you so much i'm so glad you made it home safe friend take care of you get some rest i hope the family's okay Get you some food, all right? Thanks so much. Hey, Cortez! With the raid. What is up, brother? Welcome in. Ashley Gator in the chat. What's up, Ash? Hey, Cortez, what up, bro? How you doing? How is your stream? What up, Silky? All the homies in. How you doing? Cortez, thanks so much, dude. How was your stream? Ash, thank you so much for the shout out to Cortez. Dude, what's going on? Hey, Viva, Viva La Mayhem. Hopefully I said it correctly. Mayhem, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Silky, what's going on, buddy? How you been? How's life? Welcome, everybody, to AAW Wednesday Night Rumble. It is your boy, your host. I am Jack, a.k.a. Anime Hero 92. I'm a variety streamer playing a ton of games, and we are currently going over some dope wrestling matches tonight. We've got a lot going on, including AAW action. We're going to have Beast Boy taking on the AAW World Champ non-title matchup. But title implication that Beast Boy wins, he's added to the major event tonight for a triple threat matchup. For the number one contender to face Miles Morales at Civil War. But it's so good to see y'all. Anime Squad, if you have not followed the homie Cortez, please give Cortez a follow. Him and the homie Snacks, they do Tuesday Night Fights. They're E-Fed for uh, wrestling, which is a ton of fun. Be sure to check it out. They always have a good time. Hey, Cortez a also plays a lot of variety games as well. Champion. Don't stream it up, Thunder. So show him some love. The Wise Man has made his turn. Hey, what up, Pat? How you doing? Pat the Wise Man in time to see Spider-Man Miles Morales giving us some work to Beast Boy. And in addition to that, we also want to give a shout out to the, a couple of homies in chat. First is the homie Silky C. Y'all be sure to follow uh, Silky. Those names sound like uh, a few of my Latino folks. Right? Hey, listen, the good thing about AAW, everybody could be a champion. We accept everybody, all backgrounds, all groups, all nationalities, all orientations, all lifestyles. AAW is for everybody. The tagline is, do you have ambition? If you got it, we want you on the squad. So absolutely, we're very proud of the diverse champions we got. Spider-Man Miles Morales being an Afro, uh, Latino wrestler, black and Puerto Rican descent, so you love to see it. We also got Deku as well, Japanese world champion. Uh, we have multiple champions of color as well too, which is super dope in our men's and women's divisions as well. So we keeping it going, we keeping everybody as a global phenomenon, talent from all over the world, even out of space, and oh, being hit to the back. Uh, it's been a minute, doing well, busy with the future kit. Let's go, Pat, congratulations. I might have to see you. No problem, no problem. Y'all check out Silky. Silky's super dope. Silky be doing a lot of fun stuff. I know y'all be loving the spooky games. Silky be playing that. Silky be doing the full streams. Silky super dope. She is so talented. Show Silky some love. And then, of course, I'd be remiss if I did not shout out my good modern friend, Miss Ashley Gator. One of my good buddies, IRL, and on Twitch. She's so dope. Y'all show us some love. She's playing that Boulder's Gate. Evades their offense. She, she was doing a lot in Boulder's Gate. <laughs> A lot, but uh oh. This is gonna be great. Speaking of which, I think Beast Boy taking the Spider Man Miles Morales may be the three beast. But Cortez, what were you doing, man? Did y'all have uh, Tuesday night fights today? Or were you doing like a, a special event? But I hope all's well. If I did not shout you out or say what's up, let me know. I know I got Mayhem, I got Cortez. Cortez, if you also got a rating run, I understand, brother. And Beast Boy with the Beast Slant. And now Spider Man Miles Morales might be in some danger. Hold on. B splash. That might do it. Uh-oh. One. Two. 
kick out by the champ. I'm about to say, champ might be in some trouble. I've been, I've been talking to the anime squad. I didn't realize how Matt, these matches were kind of wild. These boys trying to get, if he wins, he's in that triple threat tonight. You will go against two other competitors. One's been decided as Punky King is going to potentially be in that matchup. Let's go, Spidey. Yeah, Cortez, what were you doing today, dog? Did you have a Tuesday night fights today, or was it a special event? Oh, big punch. Yeah, Spider-Man Miles Morales, he's got to get up. It's a lot of pain. Oh, oh. Might be time for B-Splash. I like this. Oh, oh. One, two, three. And Beast Boy is officially in the main event tonight. Oh my gosh. Wow, and if he wins, definitely earning those accolades. If Beast Boy gets the W in that triple threat tonight, then guess what? He will face Spider Man Miles Morales. And if he can do what he did now, we might be looking at a new champ. Interesting stuff there. Let's get it going. And we have official. It would be Kakashi versus Beast Boy versus King. King says yes. He wants, even though he is a contender for a title, he wants to prove he can do it again. He is going to be in that triple threat match. Well, good stuff. Well, welcome, everybody. I appreciate the homies Cortez for the raids um, coming in. Thank you so much for the love, man. Uh, for the Raiders coming in, I hope you are enjoying AEW. This is my Wednesday Night E-Federation. Uh, like the tagline says, we ask, we ask one question, and that is, do you have ambition? And if you got it, we want you in. We want you enjoying the AAW crowd and the AAW vibes. But welcome in. I hope everybody's doing all right. Like we said before, shout out the homie Cortez. Show him some love. And brother, if you need the Raider run, do your thing. But if you want to hang out with us, feel free to hang out, chill. All that good stuff. Fire King, what's going on, dog? Welcome back, welcome back. I know you've been lurking, chilling. All right, we got a tag match. It is a tornado tag match going up next. And we got one half of the longest reigning... Uh, sorry, not one half. We have the longest reigning tag team champions of all time. The only three-time tag team champions in AAW. It is going to be Sonic and Tails. As they will be taking on a very powerful contender here. They're going to be taking on members of TNT, Raphael, and they're going to be taking on the homie Leonardo, the leader of TNT. But it's going to be TNT versus Sonic and Tails Tornado Tag Match. This is the first time we've seen Sonic and Tails in about three weeks um, since they lost the AAW Tag Team titles. They, they've been kind of going through it. They want to prove they're still the top tag team in AAW, and they want to call out the number one contenders because they told TNT... If they win this matchup, they want to, and this is words out of the former champion's mouth, beat the crap out of them <laughs> for a future tag team title shot. They want to take what they feel like they never lost. This is going to be good. It's going to be a big one. Let's get into it. The following is a tornado tag team match on the way to the ring. The Sonic and Tails is ready. These guys do not play. Pounds, the awesome ones. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape This is going to be big. Tornado time match. That means that pretty much anything goes in this situation. Sonic and Tails been working out. Yeah, they've been, uh, they've been around, Silky. <laughs> they've been hanging. They've absolutely been hanging. There we go. I was updating the card. And their opponents, first from Manhattan, New York. I forgot they don't come out together. I I gotta get the whole team in T crew. I gotta work on stables. Um, because many people have been asking where the heck are the other ones and. Unfortunately, we don't have raw space for everybody. Their tenacity We're working on TNG. To We're trying to get everyone in. I got Raph and Leo. It's what makes them an exceptional um, competitor. Kind of like two of my favorites. <laughs> I do like Donnie. Uh, for some reason, Donnie was not downloading when I tried. Like I, I tried to recruit that guy months ago, and he would not download. So I was like, "Well, 
Let's get right. But tornado tag match. And again, it is really good to see Sonic and Tails. We were very worried about them after they lost the tag team titles. Uh, and don't forget, this is going to be interesting because TMT, they're going to have a tag team opportunity a guy against who the X-Force every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. War. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight. Let's do it. I don't know who paid for all that fire up because it was not me. The bill, uh, the, we got like $2 in the bank. I'm going to keep it a buck. So I don't know who paid for all that, but <laughs> good luck. Good luck there. But Silky, how was your day, by the way? From Hopefully you're doing all right. You're chilling. And look at Leo. Look at Leo, Leo representing TNT. This is a superstar who eats, sleeps, and breathes Ready to go. Walking in silently. And, uh, you know, this is interesting. A bit of a rivalry between these teams. Sonic and Tails beat TMNT twice. They had a two out of three falls match. They swept them. And now TMNT looking at the former champ saying, yeah, you might be three-time champions, but... We are the ones in the driver's seat. We are the ones that are going to take the titles from X-Force. That is, Cyclops and Wolverine are our current tag team champions in AEW for the men's division. Day was good. Had the day off. Had some graphic design stuff I needed to do. Got uh, some of it done. Took a this nap. And then uh, died to the gym. Oh, no. Ready oh, no. Ready well, please take care of yourself. That sounds like a dope day. Sorry for getting I'm lurking. I'm so... No, no. No need to be sorry. Hey, it's okay, friend. Listen. Lurk it. You ain't got. You can lurk. You can just chill and lurk. Yeah, you can hit the exclamation point. Lurk. It is all good. We are lurk friendly. Shoot. Sometimes I be lurking. All right. I'm streaming. I do be lurking. Like on my own stream. <laughs> Sometimes I be looking at this matchup. I'm like, all right. Especially yo, the matches that go 30 minutes. I'm like, wrap this up. Sometimes I'm like, I will pull the controller off and pick a winner. I'm dead serious. And we love. We are lurk friendly. Lurk is a great. Never feel bad for lurking. Take care of yourself. You are a priority. You come first. Oh, and Tails is not having a good time. As TNT is giving him that two-piece combo. No biscuit, no drink. Sonic is trying to defend his best friend and tag team uh, mate. But now look at it. Leo is not playing. I think TNT taking the first one. They heard the rumors. They heard the whispers that they got the titles by luck. A lot of it perpetuated from Sonic and Tails, but they're absolutely giving work. And I mean, all forms of work no, there. He can take Two the team win. Sega, and uh-oh. The three-time chance of going back, and I think they're getting some revenge. Setting up. Tails is about to go old school. Calls that the Sega hey. twist. And there we go. And Sonic, oh. The push back there from Leo, and a bit the of the leaders catch. fighting each other. And we, out, we outside, literally. Oh, Going in and nice. Big Karana there. Tails handling the outside work. What the? Sonic going up. Getting some hang time. Got to go fast. It's telling Leo to bring it. Uh, and Leo bought it. Big turtle kick. Yeah, going up and over. And both of these teams, like I said, no love lost. This matchup had to be a tornado tag. There was too much, too much beef going on. The referee Greg got to keep track of it. I was like, you know what? Whatever. Let's have them both fight. Right a big kick there. And look at this. Oh, hits him with the yo-yo on the outside. I think Sonic's going up. Sonic trying to get, if he can get Sonic spin ball, or if he can go, honestly. Ooh, for Sonic speed, that'll be it. But don't count out Leo. Up and over. Nice one there to the middle of the ring. And a pin here. This could do it. One, two, three. And a three there. Okay. And then Sonic and Tails pick up where they left off. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The former tag team champs. Light work. Did not expect it to be that quick. These two had no trouble adapting. But apparently they got a they got a game to watch because they finished that real quick. Like Leo, it started off TNT was dominating, and then Team Sega wins. Like <laughs> you cannot make this stuff up, chat. You, you, you just cannot do it. You, you really can't. But congratulations, GGS. Team Sega gets the dub. Let's go. So, congratulations to Sonic and Tails. Nicely done in a tornado tag match. We're going to get it going. Well, um, 
we'll add a matchup because a certain tag team finished like early. But we will get into our regular schedule matchups as it will be the one, the only, All Might. He is going to be in action. But he's going to be taking on the multi-time AAW World Ronin Champion and a former Intercontinental Champion. The one, the only, King of AAW, King of Wakanda, and the King of Greatness, Black Panther. Let's do it up. All Might versus Black Panther, a matchup you probably didn't expect to see on your bingo card, but it was good to see All Might. Took a bit of a hiatus from AAW, but he is ready. He is back, and he's ready to go. But he's going to have a important task taking on the King of Wakanda, T'Challa. I have to make sure I have the right arena. I was like, wait, does that look like Rumble? I remember one time we fought at like a major event because we just liked the venue. We're like, you know what? Let's make this a permanent one. When I first used to do this, we used to fight at TNA Impact. I don't know if people remember those streams, but it was straight up that and ROH before Rumble was decided. We were like, yo, let's fight at ROH like straight up because I love that ring. Look at all my look into the crowd. The number one hero of AAW, mentor to Deku, who is the current world champ. We got a chance to talk to All Might, and he said he's very proud of not only Deku, but Mirio. Mirio, a two-time United States champion. Deku and Mirio got the tag team titles when All Might took his hiatus as well. And you know what? All Might said that he is back. He wants to win the tag team titles with his mentees. Doesn't matter where in the future, doesn't competing. matter which one. He just wants to be a champion. And he's about to get one. So he's focused on that, but also focused on getting get some gold around his waist. And a win against Black Panther would, like, honestly jumpstart him into that conversation. Look at this, he says, it's a hero to a king. Wakanda forever, Black Panther is here and ready to go. Let's do it. Do it up. Black Panther runs to the ring. A very high pressure situation. And he has a and big guy, matchup. He He's going to be going for. up against Deku to get that well tied around his waist again. But will that be his only opponent? We will find out. We got to talk to King tonight to see what he what, what's King going to do. What will his decision be? Some have called this right, superstar. Bell has been wrong officially. As we can already see from the look in his eyes. Look at this combo. Oh, big punch to the gut. Intensity off. Big punch there, and look at that going into a super hole with a rope break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. Being carried around with ease. Rope break up and over, and look at this. Scoop right to the ropes again. Look at this. All might not playing. He's getting in that plus ultra movement. Something that he strongly Ooh, believes in. Right on their face. Up and over again, and look at this right to the ring. Oh, to the leg. He's not done. That's one. Two. And look at that. All Might using all of that strength, all of that power. As AW fans are hyped to see him going for the splash, but Black Panther wisely gets out of it. Ooh. What a punch. Huge punch there. And again, taking Got down the one of the, of the pineers of AW, former multi time champ between both of these men. The We've had a historic buckle. rivalry for that title. Oh, right in the corner. All Don't forget Black Panther beat All Might to get his first world title oh, opportunity. Knees. As well. Look at that showing off to He's the crowd. Big pin. One the kick out, out. no dice. The one. Not quite enough no to dice at away. all. Black Panther going up. Got to be careful. Ooh. Almighty says no oh, dice there. Oh, Takes him oh, down. down. No blocks handle. Going up and over. Good roll. Look at this. Black Panther quickly on his feet. Oh, spinning Larry there. Jeez. Ouch. Down. 
But Hurt hits him with the A Town stomp, so like he likes to call it oh the Wakanda stomp. And the King's Kick to the side. Uh oh. I might might be in some trouble. I have to plus Ultra. Oh my god. Look at that. The high knees. Up and over. Spear! And a big pin here. Could this do it? One. Two. Kick out by All Might. No dice. Wow. We'll fight for every chance. Look at Black Panther. He's like, I could do this all day. Channeling one of his former, one of his current, I should say, Avengers friends. You know, the Avengers did try to recruit Black Panther. He said, thanks, but no thanks for Super War Games matchup. He wants to win a title. He wants a title he never lost. Around his waist again. Oh, right to the side. Uh-oh. Look at this. He just tossed the leg. Uh, look at this. Uh-oh. Oh, right to the leg again. Oh, he'll so locked painful. in deep. Black Panther needs to be very, oh, very too. careful here. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Up again, another count. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. No dice. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, look at the strength of all might. All to the mat. First. Big risk seven. Maybe All Might's in the he ring. Can Black Panther to make it? Guys. Look at he's flexing. He thinks it's over. Uh oh. I don't know if I flex so much. Drop kick. By the king. And the king beats the count. Also beats up All Might. Firm control. Oh, big kick to the face. Off the ropes. Pull up again. And oh, kick to the face again. The oh, the kick over here. Uh oh, oh, it goes. Plus Ultra. One, two, kick out. I'm about to say big one for him if he can get it. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to big go. Plus here. Ultra punches. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. On the top. Oh, what a take that. Good punch. Made solid impact. Oh. Strike. Oh, what a kick. Look at Black Panther get ready. Tells him to get up. Oh! I think he was going for the takedown, and All Might hits him with a bit of a jawbreaker there. Did not expect to see that. Did not actually expect to see that. Good jawbreaker there. Big All Might. Double axe handle finds the mark. Again, and oh, big kick. What the leg? Right to the oh, mat. Nothing fancy there. He's struggling. Saving. So, oh, close on again. Sits him up. Roll up. Takes him down. And look at this. All my says no dice. Spine buster. Oh, my. Showing a lot of fury. Oh, man. This is going to be yeah, very this gonna be interesting. Oh, no. Gets out of that. Look at this. We are seeing Good locked up in a kick to the face. My goodness. They've shown a lot of resilience Hits him up again. Ties him up. Spear out of nowhere. Pin that could do it. One, two, three. And the king wears his crown again. GG's. Here is your winner. Congratulations to really Black Panther. Big W there. Big win. A lot of hype. A lot of momentum around this guy. Showing his strength. And if he can do that, Deku might be in some trouble, chat. Some big trouble there. Great matchup. Great fight. Guys there. Awesome stuff. We're going to continue the vibes going. That was great. A lot of awesome action between both men. But we're going to get back into it as we're going to show off the amazing work that is done in the women's division as well. So let's get into it. We're going to get to AEW Rumble. And we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one matchup that's pretty special. As we're going to have one of our biggest competitors and somebody who has been absolutely fantastic in AAW. But this person is going to go and fight tonight. We're going to have Spider-Gwen, a.k.a. Ghost Spider, who does have a title opportunity 
but she's gonna go up against somebody who honestly has been showing a lot of power and a lot of momentum in AEW, and that would be Batgirl. So it's gonna be Ghost Spider, aka Spidey Gwen, taking on Batgirl up next. Let's do it. Kind of our impromptu matchup since a tag team match ended a little bit earlier than expected. But that is all good. We're going to add it right to the list. Shout out to Spider Club. A lot of representation for Spider Club tonight. If you're Miles Morales, you got to figure out some stuff. I mean, you lost that opportunity. And now you got to deal with a big issue in the room. And that's the fact that uh, you might have to face Beast Boy. Coming up very soon. It's scheduled for making our way to the ring from Queens, New York. The Ghosts, the WWE Universe, delivering yeah, quite a reaction. Is up. Perhaps and the most boom, highly anticipated lots match of momentum of the there. Night. Pyro is ready. Let's do it. To the right into the ring. She is ready for this big match, and she knows Dang. everyone backstage will be watching her make an impact. All right, let's do it up. Spider Gwen, aka Ghost Spider, is here. I'm taking on Batgirl. Batgirl has an interesting opportunity. She's going to be going against Silk for the television title. And Ghost Spider does have a number one contendership opportunity. So we'll see what she will be doing as well. But a win here could get her in that title picture. Against Batgirl and superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun. Heck. Maybe even lose the back stop, the stare. Advice. Let's get into it. Both of these women know what it's like to not only be champions, but dominate in AAW. I'm excited for this matchup. This is going to be good. Don't adjust your sets. Don't go anywhere because we might have a match of the night contender. I've seen these two wrestle, and they absolutely give their all in these matches. Let's get it. Batgirl looks on. No, it's a lot of Batgirl club fan. And a lot of people behind us about Batgirl has been excited to see. She took some time to kind of like take a breather for those that have been around the AW for a while. She was a Mrs. Money in the Bank contender. She had a big rivalry with Harley Quinn, so much so that she put a briefcase on the line. Harley won, and when Batgirl was trying to win it back, Harley cast it in. It was a failed cash in against Wonder Woman, who was our current champion at the time. And Batgirl says that she still feels like she deserves she and has is earned a world title opportunity. Prepared for the task at hand this could be her rise match. to success in AEW, even though she had a failed, uh, losing the briefcase for that failed opportunity. Can she redeem herself? Let's do it. The bell rings. Right, Greg checks both competitors. Like ready to go. And Spider Gwen goes up and goes down to the mat. Big pin attempt here. Down One. Down. And a He's fast kick out by Batgirl. That early cover. No dice as Ghost Spider going up and over. And huge kicks. Oh, Big the elbow hammer. there. Right on the lower back. The Bobby's woman on a tear here. You could be looking at future world champions in the making. Oh, Ooh, a bit of a swinging neck breaker there. Letting her opponent know Spider going to tell him Batgirl, get up. You're better than that. Now uh, Batgirl about to show how much better she is. It takes her to the ropes. Those are almost to the outside there. Oh. And a drop kick to the outside. To the Nicely done. And we continue to vibe guys. going. Ooh, Back big it kick. Up. One. Ooh, what a forearm club. One right to the mat. Drops Ooh, down. Stinging kick. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, gets out of it. Mistake. That's big damage to the knee. Got to be careful. All right. Look at her answering back. Four. German suplex. Goes up and over. Five. Come on, count of five. Uh -oh. Punch him in the chest. Oh, big punch. And now look at this. Batgirl trying to go in. Could this be a count out? 
Seven. Oh, she taunts. Post party going is over. Count of eight. Uh, watch your back, Barbara. Goes up and in. And look at this. Spider Gwen goes up and over. As it was a tilt to where I called it the Spider Twist. And look at that. Oh, my goodness. A DDT for the outside. Spider Gwen says, count back. And again, I said, both of these ladies absolutely represent the heart and soul of AAW. If you have not seen them wrestle, you are in for a treat because they absolutely bring their best. And uh oh. Backer, I think Spider Gwen was kind of distracted by something. I don't know what happened there, but Backer making a pay for that opening. He's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind Yeah, they're going back and again back to the outside. They do not care. They will fight on the outside, the inside, in the crowd. <laughs> Big kick, chop there, punch. Combination, her around on the outside. My goodness. Oh! Clothesline. Down to three. Down to four, going up and over. Again, got to be careful. Ref Greg trying to get both women in the match. They're very gracious, giving them a warning. Down to five, they have until that count of ten, and that is it. You're on the outside, you're out of the match. Back in, nice. Well, big pin, could this do it? One. Greg says no dice at one. That is it. Very quick count. Uh oh, oh, there it is. Might be down and up. Might be time for Spider Bite. Bang! And look at that Spider Bite to the face. Spider Gwen picks up Barbara Gordon. Kick to the body. Oh, hits her with a nice swing in that breaker. She is being merciless. My goodness. Look at this. Look at the athleticism from Spider Gwen. She's going up to the top. Oh, it is big spider splash. That might do it. One, two, kick out. Oh my god. Took the spider splash. Took spider bite. No dice, but look at Gwen. Going to the top rope. Spider splash! One, two, three, and my gosh, that was it. Wow, Spider Gwen. Now showing that she deserves a title shot, y'all. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. My God, that was awesome. This is what you when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Big GG's there. Big GG's there. That was awesome. Good stuff. Good match. Good fight. A lot of momentum in that matchup. Super well done. And you love to see it. The ladies of AAW showing why they're the best. And we're going to continue the vibes going as we're going to get into another matchup. And this one is going to be pretty big because there are a lot of opportunities for some number one contenderships, for some battles. But for these two, they've been down the road. They have absolutely fought many times, been great rivals. Oops, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> they've been uh, great rivals, fought down the road many times. But it is going to be time for these two to come to a head and see who is the best of the best. But it is going to be Doge. He's going to be taking on the one, the only, the Merc with a Mouth, Deadpool. It's going to be Doge versus Deadpool. Let's get into it, these two. A uh, bit of a historic rivalry between them. Doge was able to successfully beat Gambit. Uh, and during that Hell in a Cell, if you have not watched the Hell in a Cell, by the way, do yourself a favor. We'll go to our last major event on our YouTube. Check that out. It got so chaotic. It almost went a damn hour. Um, two people went through the cell. I didn't know who was going to win, but Doge did get the victory. Doge got the W. Representing AAW. So. And look at this. The clock strikes. It's time for everybody to get out their watches because if you want to know what time it is, guess what? Guess what? He's setting up. He's looking on. Got the stick at hand. And uh-oh. Time to answer that question. Set it up. Bam! It is Doge time. Making his way to the ring from Japan. Weighing in at 110 pounds. 
Doge is here. He's ready to go. He says it's not daylight savings time. It is not night time. It is not hammer time. It is Doge time. And he is ready to cash that opportunity in. He thinks beating a guy like Deadpool. Deadpool's been uh, the Merc with the mouth. And he's been saying some stuff about Doge on social media. Been a bit of issue between them. And you know what? You know how we settle it. We settle it in the ring, in the square circle. That's how we do it. So you know what? They called it up. Drawing up the play this time. All right, GG Doge, good victory, good entrance. Well, it's time for a uh, huge challenger here. And his opponent from Canada, weighing in at 210 pounds, Wade Wilson. And look at that. With this level of talent showing their skills. Deadpool this is, is here. He's ready to go. Sliding through. Oh, my God. I don't know if y'all on Twitter, but uh, basically there's been this, like, petition to get Michael Sarah to play as, uh, as Link. Oh, wow. The SAG... A F T R A and the he studios have reached a deal for a new three year contract. Oh match. crap! Like wow, the uh, they reached a deal on the strike. It's official. Whoa, yeah, uh, big update here. That's some big news. Congratulations to the actors. Good for them for fighting a good fight. I hope they got every dime they earned. Very proud of them. You love to see it. And we can already see just how focused Speaking of things you love to see, Doze versus Deadpool. As we celebrate that big news coming in, that breaking news on AEW. That's what we do. Talk about the live news coming in, all the good stuff. Look at Doze going right to Deadpool. Oh, and a big, big DDT there. And a kick to the body. And now Deadpool. Deadpool kind of struggling a bit against Doze, man. I tell you, don't let the... Don't let the comedy, don't let the antics fool you. This guy can go. He has proved it many times. In serious matches, in joke matches, he is ready to perform for the AEW community. And look at this. Down, devastating kicks. Calls those the doge kicks. Oh, and a nice drop there. Picks him up. This combination. Oh, my God. I think Deadpool not laughing. That's a very serious Deadpool right there. Oh, round and round we go. Take down, nice. Head scissors. Oh my goodness! Kick to the spine. He's getting a little better. Over now. again. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness! There. Look at that. Deadpool He's taking Doge to the corner. Now Doge is a bit stuck, and this is like the, the tail of two matches. Oh, Deadpool going up. From board. Bulldog Nicely done. Good bulldog. Fist. Going up. No pun intended. <laughs> oh my god, what a cross body. He's just getting thrown around out okay, here. Yeah, going up. We can set this. Offense here. Looking to get that signature moving. So with the dead twist. I could do it. He's trying to go up and over. Don't know if that'll be enough though. He's returning fire. He weathered the stick and up speed, building momentum, trying to change the tides uh -oh, of the match. Like... No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. God, oh, jeez. Punch right in the head. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again, great way to wear down your opponent. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. This could do it. And he kicks out of the oh, good kick. one. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Knew what was coming there. Ooh. I think we know what's coming next. Super On the outside and Deadpool, nice drop. That's finding Down any one. way to topple the competition. Curling your own body like that is insane. Uh-oh, look out. Dropping the double legs. 
He's able to sidestep there. Yeah. Oh, big punches. Sorry, I don't want to text Mitch over And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh, look at this. That fool with Doge going at it. And a big kick. kick. Hooked up. Nice DDT. Two. He's just getting beaten on all fronts here. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Oh, and a huge position. rocket. My goodness. Looking for a high risk oh, look at Deadpool going up to the top rope. Dead splash. Is for the win? Then. Pin. One. Two. Kick out, Kick out by Doge. Sure. No dice. Inches of victory. Uh oh, Deadpool going up. Maybe Dead splash too. Here we go again. Boom. One, two, three. There it is. Deadpool does get the dub. It's over. Crash it one more time. They're wild. Here is your winner. <laughs> he really wanted this one. Deadpool gets the dub. Chat. Your win for him here. This victory is exactly the kind of statement I knew he wanted to make here. This was a message from him to the entire WWE universe. Deadpool does get the dub. Congratulations. Big congratulations there. We will get into it. Let's do it up. We're going to continue the action going to AAW. Let's get ready. We're going to have Chun Lee taking on Tifa up next. Two absolute former champions, a bit of a rivalry of their own. This matchup literally came from Chung Lee saying she wants to take on one half of the tag team champs because guess what? If she could beat one half of the tag team champs, uh, her and Kami have a shot at accomplishing their goal in the future. This could be a matchup we see with some title gold on the line. It's going to be Chung Lee taking on Tifa. Very excited for this one. Um, Tifa, one half of the AW Women's Tag Team Champion, and Chung Lee, one of the co captains along with Kami. For AAW Civil War Games in the women's war game matchup. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring. From Hong Kong, China. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. Such an incredible journey oh, for this nicely woman. Done. But she knows. Sorry about that, y'all. Work is good. <laughs> Just make sure my students are right. So sorry if you saw me looking around. Right, I have to respond to a text. We're back at it. And, and there she the is, one half of the AW World Tag Team Champions. World Honor Women's Tag Team Champions, the Lock Hearts. Highly anticipated Tifa getting the back into it. in this one have been waiting all day to get their hands on each you other. You know, the W here for Tifa could be big momentum. As well, a lot going on. The strike will end at The champ 12. knows that a big win tonight oh, sends one. a message to all of the Interesting. I'm very curious to see how, like, that's going to affect a lot of stuff. So, like, we getting that X-Men casting or what? <laughs> That's why you guys need it. love seeing the <laughs> champ in action. You can see that right, look in her eyes that she wants the win oh, tonight. Oh, kick to the gut. Honestly, Cole, I don't think I've ever seen her with any other look in her eyes. The title big kick to the gut. Tifa get hyped up. Oh, Chun Li going back at it. We'll now Tifa be careful. Oh, I thought Tifa reversed it, but no, Chun Li right to the mat misses a big kick though. Fight ahead of her. Again, both these ladies very dangerous strikers, especially with the lethal kick they use. She's here to make a statement. That makes her extremely dangerous foe. Speaking of kicks. Yeah, big takedown. Oh, right to the mat. Look at Tifa showing a lot of power. 
Big punch. Uh oh, going to sleep a hole by Tifa. Rare move you see her do. But she has it in her repertoire. She can get Chun-Li to sleep. It'll be a very quick matchup, but Chun-Li quickly gets out of it. Again, not something you see from Tifa, but she has used it in the past, but not very often in a matchup. As oh, what a kick to the face. For rolling stop, rolling thunder, and boom. She's pumping herself. Only not playing, Reaching saying Tifa, that, bring it. Tifa bought it. High knee. knee Jeez, what a strike. Kind of like a V trigger in a way. Oh, she's going for the punch and misses. Again, big kick again. Look at these kicks. Look at this combo, man. One kick out. No dice. Take it to the floor. What's she going to do? Just going up to the side and scoop slam. Well scattered reverse. Big kick again. Oh, right to the side. Stopping their opponent. And and point the two. Smash. Oh, and again to the commentary team. Commentary team. Oh! That breaker to teeth for count of four. Driven oh my god. That's fine. Look at Charlie dominating this match. Tifa going part into the desk. Problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. You gotta be careful. And what a and part, what a lethal combination from Charlie. That's sick. Referee showing some grace. I thought it was seven. Uh oh, I think Tifa gets some revenge here, so there's no dice. Big oh, what a punch. Seven. She needs I'm to get hurry back up. In. Walks in. No way. Oh! And Tifa takes out Chun Li. Says no dice. Chun Li was running in. Tifa says, "I got you, homie." That's what that was. Now throws Chun Li in. I think Tifa not happy about taking any of those bumps there. Big form. Walking over to the side. Tifa with a big punch to the gut. Setting it up. Close line there. Close line. Feeling the WWE yeah, Tifa going back up again. Level. Oh, this but Charlie reverses. He reverses from Charlie and no joke. No joke at all. And look at this. Charlie not playing Dragon Tifa to the middle of the ring. Referee Greg gets out of the way. Uh oh. Oh, oh inverted takedown. The throat. Oh, man. Right again, to Tifa needs to be very careful here. Needs to be very, very careful. Off the ropes. Up and over. Let's nice take down. Spike them. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. We're gonna try to get as much damage as possible. Oh, what a kick! Quick thinking. Oh wow, what a block by Tifa. Tifa going in and using that lethal combination. Oh. It is. Oh, Tifa lock. It's with the final fan. Uh oh. I think Tifa was going for final fan and knee. But I think she gets it here. Goes up and over. Oh, final fan and knee. Pin. One, two. Kick out by Chung Lee. Says no dice. No dice. But Tifa going up and over. A final fantasy knocked Chung Lee out. Oh, but she does get out of that, though. Uh oh. Big kick. Jeez, Tifa thought that final fantasy was over. Chung Lee says no dice. Getting back up. Oh, Tifa with a nasty uppercut. Big kick. Yeah, not looking good at all. Look at this, and again, Tifa with these dastardly oh, punches. Nasty stop to finish it off. Brutal stop to the body. Kicks to the body. And just getting started. Look at this brutality. This is how Look you torture right your Right to the body again. Needs to be super careful here. Oh, my God. This is hard to watch. Oh, right to the back. And now she's looking to go top rope. What's Tifa thinking? Sword Sword up. Big stomp. Not done, Pin. That could be it. One, 
two, three, and Tifa gets the dub and defeats Chun Li. Huge congratulations there. Here is your winner, the Lock Cars. Grabbing the win, and this congratulations to Tifa. Big W. The entire women's division was watching this one, and she is the one to watch, guys. Huge W here. Awesome stuff. Lot of good momentum. Congratulations to Tifa showing that she's not only one half of the women's tag team champions, uh, she is one of the most dominating leaders in AAW. Well, we're going to get it going. It's time for our main event. It is time for King versus Beast Boy. The winner of this matchup goes to take on Spider Man Miles Morales for the AAW world title happening at. The one, the only AAW Civil War. And for King, the only reason he's in this matchup is he technically has a championship opportunity. He still wants to cash in later. But King said, hey, listen, if I can win that match, which he did, that gives him two opportunities. So he's looking to double up. And we don't even know what he's going to do. He could lose this, decide, hey, I still want to be in that matchup. Or he could win go against Spider-Man Miles Morales, and then eventually have another title opportunity in the future. This is big for King, but for Beast Boy, you got to realize you made it to the main event because you beat the champ tonight. So big stuff either way. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 150 pounds, the Beast Boy. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. Let's do it. Look at the focus and drive in his eyes. Ready to prove he's the best this division has to offer. And there is Beast Boy versus King. Could be a good one. This is gonna be awesome. And his opponent from Tijuana, Mexico, weighing in at 274 pounds. Yeah, that's another thing I didn't think about. We might get the Fantastic the Four. I mean, they the they wrestle in AEW, but <laughs> we the might get Fantastic Four casting news because now they could be like, hey. All set. Yo, Marvel might mess around on Friday and be like, hey, guess what? Here's your new Fantastic Four. I would lose my damn mind. That also means that Deadpool 3 can happen. Uh, I know they moved production back a bit. And that we can get Blade and, uh, you know. But more importantly, shout out to the actors who fought really hard. Two for now, legit, gave their all to make sure everyone got a fair deal. It is awesome to see how the power of unions and the power of hard work Pays off. Congratulations to them. You love to see it. Absolutely a fan of that. The competition level has never been higher, but this guy's ready to prove he can hang. Do it up. Look at that. King salute to the crowd. And they've already seen King once. Can King do it again? Can he get a second dub for the AW crowd? He's already in the win column. He might be able to do it twice. Well, and wrong, and both of these men in the win column, can they do I'm something rare, get two wins in one night, challenge. but the first time at AEW, yeah, in the excuse me, uh, one of the, the second times, actually, we got a Money in the Bay cash, and it was successful, and the pounce from King to Beast Boy, and it's the King versus the Beast, it's King gets back in again, another hit toss from King, now Beast Boy looking to channel in, is in a straight, oh my, what the hell is this? Oh my god. Oh, hits him with... 
Oh my god, I don't even know the seesaw. Wow. Sheesh. And look at this. Big athleticism by King. Goes up and over. And a nice DDT to Beast Boy. And I think King's on a mission. He realizes he ain't got nothing to lose. He can be a champ at any time here. In a nice slam. The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. Oh, big hit to the gut again. And look at King. Look at the size of King, man. He's just taking down Beast Boy. And Beast Boy got to quickly channel up real quick. Because this is looking like all King right now. Right to the side. Oh, my gosh. This match grinded him down a little. No way. Picks him up. Picks him up. Look at this. Drops him down. He just isn't being given any room to recuperate. Yeah, he's got to surmount this storm coming oh. in. Oh! Close line up over the top to the floor. And look at that. Both men going up to the top. But King getting the best of that. Now, Beast Boy's in some trouble. Oh! oh a and a big yeah, kick to get back into it. Over. And a one. Two. Down up two. Oh my gosh, should King take a beast for this the man? Pretty dangerous place to fight. Screens, exposed metal, glitches, so much could go wrong very quickly. An imposing array of offense from him here. Yeah, he is being stacked. A nasty combination, look at this. Oh, oh, high knee, count of five. This arena can't contain them and if Six. any indication. King running back to the ring, Beast Boys is a try. I don't know if Beast Boys can be able to make it. Look at King. Look King at is flexing. He might. King might take this dub. King right might now. take this count out dub. Look at him. He does not care. Eight. Can Beast Boy make it? Oh, King says not King like this. He's back. Side, but he's got to be mindful of the count. And immediately, Beast Boy. Uh oh, oh no. Beast Boy taking advantage of King's King kindness. T. King did not want it to end like that. The main Run event, but behind. you might be looking at King saying just take creative. the dub. Yes, he didn't look at the. Oh my God. Oh! Jeez. <laughs> Wait see Look at this guy. Oh, Beast Boy, some gut punches Every to the king. To the body as a target. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting of five? on stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. Insulting. Six. He's testing fate here in danger. Seven, uh-oh. He can't make it back. He ain't got to make it back in. Oh, and Beast Boy kick a dirt. Uh oh. That might be risky. King going up into the corner. Oh, that's not where you want to be, but Beast Boy gets out of it. Holy crap. Picks him up again. Uh oh. What the? Beast Slam! Out of nowhere, bit one. Two kick out. Beast Boy hit King with his own medicine. It's not often you see King get hit with that. And Beast Boy's on another level here. Right to the light. And Beast Boy, something got into Beast Boy. This might be Beast Boy. And the unabated offense continues. Yeah, and every attempt to fight backs being negated. Now King got to find a way to get back into it. Swing that breaker there. Uh oh. Oh boy, might be going for it. B splash, I could do it. One, two, kick out. No dice. This game over. Pure guts. I'll say it one more time. I think King saying no. Plans are out the window after that. King kicks in. Tap it from King. Take the. Oh no, misses it. That's a risky move. Oh, and big kick from King. Back in it. Coast pop. Hurricane oh, running there. Uh oh. We can't take much more of this. And I look at yeah, King. Big kick. Good. You don't say, Saxton. Box him up. This boy goes up. It goes up. Must go oh, down. Nice. Look at the athleticism from King Pin. One, two, kick out. Triple smooth. What up, brother? Yeah, Beast Boy versus King. Welcome, man. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. In the arm into the side. How you doing, Suplex. man? Yes, AW, my Wednesday night wrestling oh, show. We got a dope matchup here as we're getting ready. Beast Boy getting go. picked up. And uh-oh, Kingdom! Oh, my goodness. 
this. I'm good, dog. That's How are you? One, two, and three. And just like that, King will be taking on Spider-Man Miles Morales next Saturday at AAW Civil War. And if King can do that, we might be looking at the new AAW Undisputed Champion. Triple Smooth is good to see you, dog. Hope all's well. Yeah, this is uh my E Federation we got going on right now. It is uh where we take characters of different universes that I love. We have a wrestle against each other to see who's the best of the best. And have them go at it, but I hope you're doing well. Hope all is well, friend. Shout out to the homie Triple Smooth. Be sure to check him out. Don't stream a dope friend though. Playing at Marvel Spider-Man 2. Been on the Spider-Man grind. Congrats to the King. And I think King has made his decision. So not only does King have this title opportunity, he has a future one. But we have our main event set for AAW Civil War. It is going to be Spider-Man Miles Morales taking on King. And that means Deku will fight Black Panther. And that's for Beast Boy. Who knows, man? One time you're on top of the world. The next time, there's a king with the crown. So big GGs. Good stuff. Spider-Man 2's go to it's it's really great. It's my game of the year. It's definitely my personal game of the year. It's so good. It's extremely good. Well, we're gonna get into it. We got a bonus matchup, kind of our dark match for tonight. But this one should be fun. As this is going to be a good one, but we're going to have our AAW World Ronin Champion in action. But who will he face? Let's see. We want to put him up against. Well, there's a lot of dope people we can have a fight. You know, a lot of people I'm seeing. But I'm going to have the Human Torch in action. It's going to be the Human Torch, Johnny Storm, taking on Deku. Not a title matchup, but kind of our dark match. We got a little bit of uh, time. We ran a little bit under because the tag match went like five minutes. It's supposed to go 15. <laughs> so we had an extra 10 minutes so we are gonna go and uh we're gonna go hook up and have a matchup here so it's gonna be johnny storm taking on deku the number one hero taking on the torch of the fantastic four and the fantastic four they're gonna be in that war games matchup next saturday is gonna be team fantastic it's gonna be mr fantastic Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, and the Thing, along with Doctor Strange, taking on the Avengers, Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, and the Hulk. That is going to be a big matchup there. I can't wait for Civil War games. No matter how high the deck is stacked, I do not want to miss that one. Never this is going to be our last match of the night. Don't be alarmed by the time. We've been live actually for two hours and some change, almost three. OBS decided not to behave itself today. Yeah, right, the Matt Riddle. <laughs> Absolutely. Gotta have it in, especially uh, with the news of him. <laughs> so now we can safely take uh, this entrance for him. Look at that, the Human Torch get ready. He has a big task taking on the AAW Ronin Champion. See what goes down. Uh he yeah, he was released uh from WWE, unfortunately, which is uh kind of sad, but yeah, he got released because of uh previous the previous incident that happened. Um they decided to not renew his uh contract, which is sad. I, I hope he's doing it right though. Yeah. It always sucks to hear people get released from their jobs, especially whether it's like wrestling or life. So I do wish him the best, but yeah. There's Deku the rocking WWE that AW Roman title. I love the look of that title. It absolutely looks so beautiful. Away from a In AW, Deku match. has that title opportunity. He's going to have to defend it against the former champ, Black Panther, next Saturday. And I'm telling y'all right now, that's a matchup you don't want to miss. Those two got a bit of rivalry. Um, have fought for Word the Intercontinental title. Was actually have fought for multiple for championships match, but the officials as well. Backstage wouldn't allow it. That is how competitive he is. Man, right now, it's bloodline story or nothing for me at this point. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I like what they're doing with Seth with the title. I'm very excited for Jay Cargill. I think she's...